Well, back down for a little bit of carp fishing. Uh, trying to enjoy the spring. Got out a few times and had a few good set, few good sessions uh, fishing with Dave and Jeff from the Carp Club. I'll, uh, I'll post a picture of the most recent one. Uh, Jeff and I got a double beauty fish. Uh, so the picture I'll put up right now. That was a really crazy session. Really slow morning, then 20 minutes of just havoc, and then nothing for the rest of the day. It's a little bit windy today. It's cold. We're in the middle of April, but we still had snow this morning. Um, so just crazy weather up and down, and uh, it's made it hard to find fish. So I've been sticking with, the, with this spot lately. This is where it's been producing. <coughs> right now I'm fishing a snaggy spot just across uh, to the other side. I may move downriver uh, a little bit later. We'll see what happens. Right now I'm fishing a, a boily approach like I have been, but I've upped the size. I want to see if I can get the larger size fish that are in here. And uh, I've gone from the 10 mils, I'm using an 18 mil right now. So we'll look at the rig a little bit later. But uh, literally just got here, Rod's been out for two minutes. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's been about two and a half, almost three hours now. Um, I moved down river, I moved into my little snaggy spot that's kind of in the brush. Uh, not even a touch over there. So right now, I can just get my line uh, with an awkward cast to where I was fishing earlier. Uh, so the spot that I baited up and, and was sitting on for the last while, I can still reach from this spot. So that's where my line is right now just long enough for me to kind of get set up. Uh, I want to get some bait out in here into the shallow bay. Uh, the sun's been on it all day, so I'm thinking that this has got to be a little warmer spot and the fish have got to be sitting here. Uh, they have been rising over my bait over on the other side, but no takes. So, yeah, right now I can already see a couple of bubblers right in close. So I'm going to fire some corn out. I'm still using an 18 mil boilie right now. I may scale that down. Um, I don't know if I want to go back down to that 10 mil boilie that I've been using that's been successful for me so far this spring. Uh, I may actually just uh, try to fish like a, a little yellow pop-up or something. Wow. Okay, yeah, now that I've gotten in out of the wind and I'm in this shallow bay, I can see a lot of bubblers. So I'm gonna get out the slingshot. Uh -huh. And I've got some maize with me that I'm going to put out here. But I'm going to still feed boilies over that other side. Uh, if I see more activity over there, then I may put a line back over there after. But right now, it's been a couple hours with no fish. I really want to get a fish. Time to put the odds in my favor. You never know. They might, I might be able to get them in close again and get them right on the rod top again. Let's get at it. this bay up, uh, this shallow spot, with corn and maize, just blanket it, um, you know, great big wide area so that they, you know, if they're not feeding on the boilies over there, I want them to all just come in and just start snuffling around, and just get on all of it, I'm really hoping I can get, uh, you know, maybe three or four fish today sick of the one fish a session kind of deals that we've had lately. They're still bubbling over the boilies where my line is now, so you never know. But things are looking better now that I've made the move, so let's see what happens.
spot. But we got our first fish. Surprisingly though, one thing I've not seen caught here before is uh, what well, we got a channel cat. So yeah, I was not expecting this. I was really hoping for some carp, but one thing that's important here is that my rig's working. Very subtle bite. Not a bad fish either. Real beauty. But we'll take it. This was on the 18 mil boiler. We'll show you the rig in a second. Just that far side that I've been fishing for the last few hours. Just change the angle of approach and boom, a couple of minutes and the fish is on. So I'm gonna get him back. It looks like they're starting to feed uh, on the corn that I put out there. So they're still here. Yeah, another one. Well, how about an update? Um, been about a half hour or so since I got that catfish. And I'm still fishing the 18 mil boily to the far side. Um, so it's still fishing the same baited area that I was fishing from the other spot. Um, just getting a different angle. And uh, about five minutes ago, I just had a screaming run, like just ripped right off. And as soon as I set into the fish, I felt it and then it was gone. It just come right off. So. They're still over there. I don't know if they're catfish. There's got to be carp over there. You know, they're still rising. Um, they still seem to be feeding over here. The shell is where I put the corn. Uh, but I haven't brought my line over to this side yet. I think when I do, I'm gonna move to a uh, switch to a smaller bait. Uh, kind of as we get later in the into the afternoon. You know, when this water is gonna be at its warmest. Right before that uh, kind of end of the day bite comes along and that's when I'm going to switch into this uh, this shallow spot um, but yeah just missed a, a hell of a run and you could see that whatever it was really really did not like it because there was just this boil of bubbles and you could see the mud got stirred up over the other side like whatever it was hit it hit it hard went for it and as soon as I set into it it just spun around did something to stir up the bottom really good there. So I, I managed to get my, my line right on that same spot, right into that mud cloud um, as soon as I cast back out. And I fired out another, I don't know, seven or eight boilies uh, just over the top of that and kind of around it. And I, since then, I've had another real light indication where the bottom just slowly went up. And when I started to get up for the rod, it went right back down. <laughs> So something was, was added again, probably just a liner kind of swimming in there, but it's looking good for uh, another bite real soon. And I'm really happy having come to this, this side of the, where I am on the river to get at that same spot from a different angle. It seems to have made all the difference in the world. So even though I'm fishing the same spot, just making that move to, to change the angle has really made a difference. That's, you know, three bites in about an hour, if that, 40 minutes, when I spent three hours in the other spot with nothing. And that surprised me as well. You know, last time we were over there, we had uh, three fish, uh, you know, Jeff and I. So we'll keep at this spot and uh, see how the rest of the afternoon progresses. gonna go over the rig really quick uh, I have my second rod uh, the short rod with me for when I do decide to move shallow so I can rig this one up with a smaller bait but 
um, because I don't want to take the other one out of the water right now. Uh, I figured I'd put together the rig that I'm using on that rod that's out there right now to show you what I've got going on. And then I'm going to change this up, the, the smaller bait rig that I'm going to use later on, probably in another hour, hour and a half or so, uh, to fish this shallow bay. So, uh, 70 gram inline pair lead, uh, flat pair lead. Then uh, I got the swivel just wedged in the bottom for the bolt effect, a little anti tangle sleeve, and about uh, about six inch uh, coated braid with the, the end of it just stripped away with uh, to a size six hook, a little bit of shrink tube uh, just to help help it uh, you know, curl down, and then. 18 mil scope X boilie. Um, the line that's out there now does actually have half of a yellow dumbbell on top of that, a pop-up dumbbell on top of the scope X, just to kind of take away some of the weight of that bait being a, a larger boilie. I'm not, I don't usually use them this big, but that's something I'm trying to start doing a little bit more of is using the larger baits. And uh, yeah, so far it's worked. A couple of hits in that catfish. But, yeah, Scopex. I've got some Scopex and I've got some banana with me, and it was the Scopex that, uh, that got me the catfish and uh, the other bites. Banana, it, it, you know, I'm just kind of mixing them together when I throw them out, so maybe I'll put a banana on later. We'll see. But, yeah, that's all there is to it. Very simple rig, and, you know, no more sophisticated than any of the other rigs that I use. Just a uh, larger hook bait this time. Hopefully, I'll we'll actually get into some carp. If not, it wasn't a blank, but. Well, I thought I'd give a bit of an update. It's been a couple of hours since there's been any activity. The fish seem to have just shut right down. We're still jumping on the far side, but uh, and I'm still fishing on the far side. But as you can see, there's two rods here. Uh, Dave and uh, Cheryl have come down to join me. They're over there just uh, getting the fire going, just to keep warm. It is still pretty cool out. But yeah, they've joined me and uh, they put a, a line in each and just trying to up our rod to get in the fish. But yeah, it's still great down, it's gotten quiet. And, you know, I've done well in this spot in the evenings, and now that we're getting into that, that last two, three hours of daylight, maybe that's what's gonna turn them on. Who you knows? Like I said, there's really been no bumping, no activity, but they are still jumping over there uh, where I've been fishing all day, so we'll see what happens. Well, at least now I got some company. It's you know, nice to have some friends come down and, and chat with and fish with. Here's hoping that one of us gets a bite soon and uh, we can bring that fish. last few minutes of the day, literally last few minutes of the day, it's getting dark. We're hanging out with Dave and Cheryl, and Dave, you just had a bite like a minute ago, right? Yeah. 
And other than that, we really got no activity. And then this fat little chunker just decided to take my line. I think we got him in too quick. <laughs> He's pretty excited. He's still fighting in the net. He's, this is a thick fish. Like he's, he's short, but he's really, really fat. Couple pictures there. Oh, one sec. Look at the red in his tail, eh? See that? <laughs> Had to get one of you pummeling it a little. Nice, nice. Beauty. Well, good way to end the day. Get a couple of photos of a beauty fish. You know, just hanging out with some, some friends enjoying the fishing this afternoon. Now it's time to wrap it up and pack her in for the night. And then hopefully, next time I get out, we'll be a little bit warmer. We can really get into the fish. Until next time, enjoy your time on the water.